This is part of a preparedness series on stoves and fuels, part one. Can we buy butane cheaper than propane by buying it at Asian grocery stores? You'll be surprised. Does this butane work as good as camping butane, like isobutane from the sporting goods section? We'll let you know. Watch and see. All of our videos are released three to seven days on our website before they are on YouTube. Sign up at nopub.net. See all the videos at nopub.net. Hi, this is Steve Harris, and I want you to join me on a little adventure that you're just going to love. Now, I'm sure you've all seen, seen butane stoves like this, and they go onto a can of this size, this size, or this size, basically quarter pound, half pound, one pound. Uh, oh, no, I'm sorry. Yeah. Four pound, half pound, one pound, roughly. Just, just call them that for fun. And, but they're, you know, these are small and compact and they're light. But they're a little pricey. It's like five bucks, seven bucks, ten, twelve bucks or more for that one. And you know, a lot of time you just want to carry this little one with you because it's the most convenient size. But what most of you don't know is there is another option and that is a can of butane fuel like this which is meant for small stoves and while this one is about 349 at walmart for eight ounces so three dollars and 49 cents for eight ounces that'd be about seven dollars a pound and a bottle of propane is about three dollars to four dollars a pound and there is more energy in butane than there is in propane, but um, so, you know, it's still quite a bit more expensive than propane, and you're paying for the convenience. What most people don't know is you can get an adapter like this, and I will be covering these in the future. I can put this on here, and then I can screw on. If you want to know about this little thing, it's going to be in some Harris videos coming up on uh, Harris1234.com, the membership platinum area. I got everyone that you can possibly think of, and I can do some extraordinary stuff, including refilling this off of that. So expensive container, expensive fuel, this becomes empty, refill on this, cheap fuel. So anyways, there's some stories going around on uh, Facebook that you can get the cylinders here for like four for five dollars at some Asian uh, grocery stores and it's like well that's interesting now let me show you that this works it's like not only can I transfer the fuel to another cylinder but you know a, a, on its own this works very good as well in fact, I love butane-sized lanterns. Yes, I can run a butane lantern off of propane, too. Oop, there we go. And that's another thing in my video. <laughs> you want to see economics and uh, scale. <laughs> you watch me run one of these off a propane cylinder, you're going to go, that's neat as hell. So anyways, here we have a, uh, a lantern, a one man old lantern and a uh, small stove, which I love this stove. This is like all you need. This stove here, way too big. That's the type you want if you're an ultra light backpacker. So it's all running off of that cylinder of butane. Well, let's go on a little adventure and see if we can't find the mysterious cylinders of butane, eight ounces, mind you, for a dollar twenty-five each, or a dollar fifty each, or are they more expensive at these places? Let's go find out. Well, I'm here at Gordon Food Service. Let's see what they got for butane. Okay, I'm at Gordon Food Service. They got four eight-ounce sterno butane cartridges for eight ninety-nine. That price is not very good. And here we are at Asian Bazaar. Let's see what they got for butane. Well, they didn't have crap. Real small store. No butane. Oh, we don't have butane. 
Okay, next door. Well, another Asian supply store. I see a Saigon Market has butane. And yes, they have butane. $4.99 for four 8-ounce cans. What a deal. Well, let's go in the Chinatown Market and see if they got any butane. Well, yep, they have butane. $6 for four. Not a bad price. Now, just how much better does it get? There's a big lot, an Asian market, and a Cold Stone Creamery. <laughs> Let's see what they got for butane. And yes, they got four packs of butane, only $5.99. Not bad. So we have one, two, three bottles of butane from three different Asian stores. A buck twenty-five, a buck fifty, and a buck fifty, not including tax. And we have a five dollar bottle of isobutane from the uh, REI or Walmart or wherever or Cabela's you want to go. Now the thing is, this is not just butane. It is also isobutane and a mixture of a couple other flavors of propane, which aren't the propane that you're used to. Another chemical, so it's got better cold weather performance because normal butane does not volatilize below 32 Fahrenheit. You can actually pour it back and forth between a cup like water when it's below 32, and I have done it. So, the thing is, for the test to see how well this works and its limitations, yes, I have a little bit of ham for my uh, high protein diet in the dehydrator, which is another video I'm making for you but into into the freezer at minus five the butane goes overnight to see if it'll volatilize tomorrow and work on the stove or the lantern so if you want to see the results, tune in. Does the dollar twenty-five butane fuel work when it's below thirty-two degrees Fahrenheit, let alone below zero? Look for part two on NoPelp.net. Hi, this is Steve Harris. New videos that we put out are released on our website three to seven days before we put them on YouTube. So if you want to see the videos first, get emailed when a new Harris video is released. See the video before anyone else does. Sign up at nopub.net, K-N-O-W-P-U-B dot N-E-T. If we release anything new or fun along with the video, we'll email you and let you know. And no, we do not spam people. We like friends, not people that hate us. So we treasure you, we don't sell your email, we take care of you, and only send you good stuff.